Hey everyone, Dr. Mungli here. In this particular video, I am going to explain you what are the benefits of intermittent fasting. One of the greatest benefit of intermittent fasting is the loss of weight. If you are planning to lose weight, intermittent fasting is one of the things that you need to look for. Personally, I have lost uh, more than 10 pounds of weight in uh, 4 weeks of uh, modified intermittent fasting. I have a video on that. Um, the link for that is in the description below. You can take a look at that. So, I, I would like to place this intermittent fasting benefits into three categories. One is how it is going to affect our gut microbiome or gut microbiota. Second is what it does to our circadian cycle. And the third is how it is affecting our modifiable lifestyle factors like sleep, activity and diet. First let me come to a gut microbiota. Intermittent fasting it is going to significantly affect our gut microbiota for a positive side. It is going to change the commensal bacteria present in our intestine towards the positive side. It means it is going to increase the number of bacteria that are good for us and the metabolic byproduct of those bacteria they are going to help in a positive way for our metabolism. Because as you might be knowing that we have around 100 trillion bacteria present in our body and uh, most of them they are there in the intestinal tract. And uh, a kind of metabolic byproducts that we get from the bacterial fermentation or the bacterial metabolism, they get into our body and they are going to change the metabolic processes that are going on in each of our cells. That is why it is most important for us to maintain a good commensal bacteria in the gut and that comes only with a nutrient diet and also proper timing of this particular diet. So the intermittent fasting it helps in that way in a positive way to maintain a good commensal bacteria in our intestine and help, help to achieve a positive changes in our health. Now the second thing is about circadian rhythm. Now the circadian rhythm, it is about the sleep and wake cycle that is going on in our body according to the nature. One of the master controller of circadian rhythm in our body is a suprachiasmatic nucleus present in the hypothalamus. Now the suprachiasmatic nucleus, it is the master, master clock present in our uh, body. But this is not the only uh, circadian clock that we have. So we have a peripheral circadian clocks in our body. This has been identified in recent times. So the circadian clock not only present in the suprachiasmatic nucleus, but it is also present in the peripheries which are referred as peripheral clocks. And these peripheral clocks are, have been identified in uh, liver because liver is the major uh, metabolic organ in our body. I would say I mean, liver is the uh, factory for our metabolism. Now, it, uh, uh, these peripheral clocks are also being uh, uh, noted to be present in heart, present in the intestine and present in other peripheral organs. Now, these uh, peripheral circadian clocks and also your uh, master controller of um, uh, circadian rhythm that is suprachiasmatic nucleus, they all work in synchrony. It means the cues for uh, circadian clocks, peripheral circadian clocks, it can be uh, food, or the expectation of the food and also it is uh, uh, our daily activity. So it, 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 all there are several factors that will change the oscillations in this circadian clock. So the intermittent fasting, so it will bring a positive change or a discipline in our um, uh, food intake. Because in intermittent fasting, so there, there are several kinds of intermittent fasting. Uh, uh, the, I have made a video about uh, different types of intermittent fasting. Link for that video is there in the description below and also it is appearing towards the end of this video. Now, so that these different types of intermittent fasting, there is a discipline here. So discipline in consumption of food, like discipline in timing of our food. That's what is all about intermittent fasting. So how much, how long you are fasting, how much is the time that you are not taking food. That's all about intermittent fasting. So, so there is alternate intermittent fasting and also there is a timed intermittent uh, fee, uh, timed feeding that is basically timed fasting period will be going on. It means a person really knows when uh, food has to be taken. It means in between the food is not taken. 
the idea here is to maintain a, a low insulin glucagon ratio now because of this discipline what happens so the circadian clock it will be adjusted to the rhythm and that rhythm will be continued so that means in the 24 hour period so we are going to maintain the circadian clock and it responds to the it responds to it basically we are synchronizing our food habit with the circadian clock and this circadian clock so the suprapatriotic nucleus so it is going to uh, change the metabolic processes that are going on in each of our cells because there will be oscillations present in each of our cells and we have a peripheral uh, uh, clocks present in uh, metabolic organs so the suprapasmatic nucleus it is going to communicate with the peripheral clocks and also it will uh, through that it will communicate with each of our cells and change the oscillations and that's how it is going to change the metabolic processes going on in our body so this is how so there is a lot into that so i'm going to make a video uh, separately on circadian clocks so this is just in brief how your intermittent fasting is going to change the circadian clock uh, rhythm in our body thereby it synchronize and bring a positive change there are a lot of papers out there which will ex uh, which will explain uh, changes in uh, circadian rhythm in a, in an abnormal way uh, biological clock when it is changed in an abnormal way because of uh, uh, bad dietary habits so that has been proved to cause uh, overweight, obesity, metabolic syndrome, insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes mellitus, cardiovascular disorders, including the cancer. Now again, like what else uh, it, your intermittent fasting is going to help us? It is the diet. Now the intermittent fasting, when you time the diet, so basically uh, we are prolonging the fasting period more than 12 hours. So when we prolong the fasting period more than 12 hours, we, our intestine gets a sufficient time to uh, get rid of all the waste products to uh, prepare itself for the incoming food. So intermittent fasting, it helps in that way. And also when the feeding is done, so that is most important thing. So when the feeding is done, so the feeding, uh, the kind of food that we take should be nutrient rich. So you need to concentrate on the nutrient rather than the quantity of the food that is taken. So that's how the uh, intermittent fasting, it will help in uh, maintaining, maintaining a good dietary habits. And also intermittent fasting helps in uh, like good sleep. So initially like people may think that uh, when you are in a prolonged fasting, you may not get uh, good sleep or sufficient sleep or you may not get sleep itself. That is totally wrong. So when you are in intermittent fasting, especially so uh, there will be a, a sound sleep or the good the quality of sleep. It's all about quality of sleep. So the quality of sleep will be much better and also it will uh, intermittent fasting will help in uh, the bringing a positive change in your activity. So the energy levels of the body in fact it will be much higher when you are in intermittent fasting rather than when you are feeding yourself for, uh, for every two, uh, two to three hours or frequent feeding. So this is what is the change. So the, this, this is just in brief how intermittent fasting can bring a positive change in our body. Thanks for watching and uh, make sure you click that subscription button down there. So if you have any questions, so kindly let me know so, so that uh, I can answer to those questions, whatever the knowledge that I have about inter intermittent fasting. So I can uh, uh, answer your questions based on that. And also we can discuss if you have any uh, contributions or any comments or any inputs to, uh, towards this intermittent fasting. So thanks again and uh, see you in my next video.